what it is, guys. This is finally the day. We we finally have the true and proper trailer for Dragon Ball or Super Dragon Ball Heroes, the anime. Now, this is I want to preface this by saying this is not going to be like a 300, 400 episode series like Dragon Ball Super or Dragon Ball Z. I know Super wasn't quite that long, but you get you get the point. Um, this is just going to be like little mini, almost like one shots here and there, mini movies to tell the story from the Dragon Ball Heroes. Uh, they're Super Dragon Ball Heroes, I, do, I should say. Um, video games. Now, these are console games that are only released in Japan. Best I know, they're not available over here at all. Uh, I've never seen one, at least. Maybe a few people that have one. But I digress. More to the point, um, this is something that is, is very, very special. It's been teased for many, many years that we were going to get a Dragon Ball Heroes anime. Uh, so this is kind of like the first steps to that. So I want to go through this. And as someone that's covered a lot of Dragon Ball gaming, mostly mobile gaming, but we're going to fix that a little bit as we go on with the channel. I'll talk more about that when it comes to the big uh, channel update this weekend. Um I want to cover more of this like heroes type content when all, when at all possible. And so when I get with it getting an anime, I just feel it's appropriate just go through give you my feelings on this trailer and just talk about this because this is big. This is real big, at least in my opinion. So uh, as always, let me know what you think in the comment section down below after the fact. But let's get into it right here. First, you see that we've got Super Saiyan Blue Goku on screen. This is the one from uh, Dragon Ball Super Universe that we know and love. Now, don't be confused by the Cap Scorp key. That's the holdover from Xenoverse, the game, but uh, it's the same Goku, and you'll see what's so crazy hype about this here in just, just a second. Yes, we are opening up with the fight between Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Zeno Goku. Now, Zeno Goku is a little bit different. You'll see he has the cloak and all that stuff on. Um, there's a lot of stuff behind that. If you don't follow the video games, it's a little convoluted to explain, but uh, just know that they're basically from two alternative timelines, for lack of a better way to put it. All right, let's get back into it here. Now, this fight is interesting. I won't discuss the climax, uh, but the climax has already been told in story format, so let's go through this a little further. I'm really excited to see it. Also, notice... Uh, Nozawa is still doing the voice of both Gokus, so that's really awesome. This is the prison planet, and I think that looks fantastic. That is so cool. Just to see him like literally chained together. Uh just like a like a whole solar system was just pff, compacted. I'm guessing this is Trunks actually first emerging. You can see it's like these these manacle looking things on his hands. Uh, and I believe this is Dragon Ball Super Trunks as well, uh, cause he has the blue hair and all that. I still, I want to say the Zeno Trunks still has the, um, the purple hair. Not only that, but the outfit, you can almost, you could tell a little bit. This is pretty much going to be Dragon Ball Super Trunks. I think that's him being dropped on the prison planet for the first time. Look at that that beautiful shot of the whole city and all that stuff. I mean, it doesn't look like a prison in the traditional sense. This is almost looks like like Las Vegas, really. Uh, pretty crazy stuff. Oh. Okay. So, this is Cumber. This is the new, I'm guessing, uh, villain for this series. I mean, they're pretty much setting him up like that. Uh, I love this kind of holdover from Raditz, like the long hair. Um, the glowing red aura, though, is interesting. So he's almost got, like, somewhere between, like, um, like a Super Saiyan God vibe, but not, obviously not. Obviously not what, what, not at all, but he's got some kind of very special aura. It's not a normal aura, and clearly he's got, like, the mass stuff, and he's got uh, a uh, fuse um, uh, mark on his... On his what looks like a straight jacket. So uh, clearly he's gonna he's got a lot of similar stuff going on to what like you know uh, Mass Saiyan uh, Bardock and uh, Vegeta and all those guys had going on. So clearly he's got some really extraneous powers, uh, and we'll get into that discussion here again in a minute. But I just love this character design. He is so freaking cool. 
<laughs> now, the red eyes interest me. That's another clue that we're getting some kind of extra power. Um, something we probably haven't seen before. His own unique transformations and such. Really, really. I like the way they're going with that. And I know it's... it's some people have been saying it's a cop-out. I think it's really interesting. Because it shows the differentiation in the characters. And it's not just like this linear... Okay, you reach this goal. You reach the next goal. You reach the next goal. It's sh- like... Who knows where it ends? I just I really love that concept. Just busting out. Okay. So if you followed um, the information that I released earlier today with this trailer uh, or with the uh, Dokkan Battle JP stuff we got, that I'm guessing is full power. What would have said uh, FP Cumber. That I'm guessing is full power Cumber. Like he's doing some kind of power up and busting out. So this should be pretty badass. That is Super Saiyan Goku and Base Vegeta, which is interesting to me. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. That That's probably very early on. I can't imagine that's after he busts out of the, uh, busts out of the, uh, of the actual straight jacket itself. Now, I do know there is a special move that he has. I've, I've got a little spoiler on that. I won't spoil you guys, but I will say, uh... Just keep a look out. This guy is a badass. When this drops on the first, you are going to want to watch it. It's going to be a ton of fun. And that, once again, is obviously Future Mai um, being that, you know, in Z terms, she'd be an old woman and probably deceased by that point. So, and the, you know, again, the uniform kind of gives it away. Um, Looks like she's on that... I'm wondering if this is part of one of the planets. Because with those manacles on trunks, I don't see him getting off that planet with that kind of, like the jumpsuit and the manacles and all that. Uh, So I wonder if she's in prison there, if that's something else. Very interesting. Okay. I did want to talk about this, guys. This should look very familiar. Now, the lack of the pupils and all that stuff. If you guys once again followed the information that was dropped on Dokkan JP earlier, it looks like Goku is getting the rage form. Uh, and again, this is Dragon Ball Super Goku. This is not even the Zeno Goku. This is the Super Goku that we know and love. It looks like he's getting the rage form for this uh, for this short. So that's pretty badass. <laughs> And I didn't get a chance to really talk about it. Let me see if we can back it up real quick. This uniform that is on Vegeta. That uniform. The, these little markings here on either side. I'm absolutely adoring those. So, um, it looks like this is almost like the one that was made uh, by Bulma for him. It's not his old Saiyan outfit. It's something entirely new and different. Uh, but I love the character design. It's just really awesome. And there's there's few. He uh, is the um, the son of Mira and Toa. Um, he has been introduced into Xenoverse prior, but in kind of spurts here and there. Um, he is the main. I said like not the going to be like the villain that they face, but he's going to be the overall cause of all this going down. So he is going to be a force to be reckoned with. That's for damn certain. Oh, that shot of Cumber. Just mind-blowing. Just The art is just amazing. I'm loving every second of his. See, it almost does look like God Aura, but, you know, I know it's not because it's not the red hair and all that. It's, 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 and some people, I've, I've, it's not Kaioken, guys. Let's just get away from that. It's not Kaioken. It's something entirely different. He's imbued with it and it. An extra power. Clearly, this is something that few gave him. So, some kind of demonic power. And yes! <laughs> this blew me away the first time I watched it. Vegito Blue is going to have to fight Cumber. That is awesome. So, not only do we first get the fight, like, just, I'm guessing it's going to be right off the bat. The first thing we're probably going to get is Zeno Goku versus Super Saiyan Blue Goku. But then, the return of Vegito Blue to fight Cumber. 
that proves that he is an absolute monstrous force to be reckoned with. I am so excited for this, guys. Words. I'll put a link in the description down below where you can watch the whole thing without me derping over the top of it. But this is really, really, really exciting to me. Um, I'm hoping that uh, when they put it up on the website that they put some kind of translation with it. I kind of doubt it. I know fan subbers and stuff are going to get a hold of it real quickly. So um, when and if that happens, we'll drop that information at some point, some way, somehow. But um, this is not going to be on Crunchyroll. Funimation's probably not going to do anything with this. Uh, Dragon Ball Heroes does not get licensed outside of Japan. If this does manage to happen, it'll be with this first. But the game is only released in Japan. It's never been released outside of Japan. If you guys followed uh, Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle, you know, you've never got a Dragon Ball Heroes banner in Japan, uh, outside of Japan. In fact, some of the units that are heroes predominantly heroes units but have been featured in other 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 uh games they've even been hard to get in the game case in point super saiyan 3 broly how many months do we have to wait for him so uh i'm just saying guys this is going to be crazy 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 hype as soon as this drops here in just a few days like a week and what a week and change i will be doing a review of this i'm going to get my hands on it i'm going to get a translation of it and i will get you guys a review of this because I am stupid excited for this uh, for this anime. This is going to be so much fun. Oh my god! So, like I said, I'll leave a link in the description down below for you to go watch this on your own. If you have any comments, let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this type of content, hit that old thumbs up because it lets me know that this is what you guys want to see going forward. These are changes to the channel that you're that you're excited about. Um, so uh, the more likes we can get on this, the better. Uh, if you didn't like it, let me know why. You know, it, don't just downvote it. Let me know in the description down below what I can do to make this content better for you. If you just don't like it at all, just let me know what you guys think because uh, I want to do more stuff like this as well. But I digress, guys. I'm really excited. Let me know what you think. Uh, I will catch you guys later. I can't. I can't do that outro. That's 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 old boys outro. I will. So I'm not playing the game because then I can't lay ass out next time because I can't actually fight you. But whatever. It's Dragon Ball. Follow my Birdman. Hit me up a Booker, and I will lay your ass out next time. <laughs>